Hey friends, Irene Lyon here. Welcome to this video, to this YouTube channel, and to this world of healing trauma, nervous system health, and all things neuroplasticity. I have got a an analogy, a metaphor, an example that I want to share with you today that speaks to what it means, what it looks like to help rewire and restore regulation back to the nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. So I'm not going to go in through all the stories of what throws us off good wiring and good regulation. I've got other resources that I will share below in the show more section somewhere near this video. So be sure to check those out, especially the video on what it takes to raise and create a healthy human. So the one thing I will say, the first three years of our life are super important. We want to have solid attunement, secure attachment, safety, security on board so that we can build a healthy nervous system, a good map for how we see the world and interact with the world. If we didn't get that, that's where we end up with nervous system dysregulation. That's where we end up with the capacity if those things are not healed later in life, chronic illness, mental illness. Again, I'll link some of the research below that backs all of that up. But when I talk to my students and people that are new here, I say it's like learning a language. So my first mother tongue, English. And my sense is if you're listening to this, English was your first language or you learned it later on enough that you can understand me quite well. The nervous system is kind of like that. So when we begin our apprenticeship with a language, we learn basics. We hear the sounds, we watch our mom or father or caregiver say words to us, we see the lips. When we start to get a little older, we might read and see symbols, we'll start to write A, B, C, one, two, three. We form simple words like dog and cat and bat and hat, things that rhyme. I think you get it. So that's how we learn a language. It isn't just learning, you know, I've um, got some paper here. By looking, we also are applying it with how we hear language in our household, how we communicate, etc. The nervous system is very similar. So when we're really young, we cannot make sense of words. We can't have a mom say to us when we're a newborn, honey, just, you know, calm down, calm down without oozing that sense of calm down, connection, um, being close, feeling her or his, you know, if it's mom or dad or a caregiver, their own self-regulation and calm. So we learn how to become self-regulating creatures via this co-regulation dance with another human that is older than us. It could even be a sibling, right? It doesn't have to be an adult. So we learn the language of nervous system health through that interaction, just like we learn a first language in this environmental awareness. It isn't just by the book. Here's what's interesting. So here's where the analogy comes in. If we want to learn a second language later in life, we're going to start by reading, learning specific words, sounds, um, ways that things roll off the tongue. I've tried to learn some German in my day. I can't get those sounds. However, I learned French when I was really young, age five to about, gosh, grade 10. Even though I'm not fluent in French anymore, I have the, the structuring in my throat and tongue to make those French-like sounds because it was really young. But if we're older and we're learning a second language, if we're older and we are, to parallel, learning how to self-regulate and have a healthy nervous system, we're gonna have to start with the basics, like the education you get from me here within my videos and my articles and my programs, etc. But what we have to do as we become better at understanding the lingo and maybe the exercises, um, the conjugation, so I'm kind of going back and forth between metaphor of language, learning a language, and the reality of learning how to rewire our nervous system and re-regulate and restore regulation back to the nervous system. So as we are learning these languages, we have to start applying it to the outside world. So when we are driving a car or on public transit, 
and we feel ourselves being a bit stressed, we might not be able to pull up the, you know, the ABCs and one, two, threes. We just have to be in it and feel it and integrate and apply in real time. It's like if we were to go to a foreign country and apply the language that we're learning, we wouldn't want to do that kind of until we know enough to take over and have a basic conversation in public, right? And of course, the way that we get better at having those conversations in public is we have to throw ourselves out of our comfort zone and actually go into those areas where it's a little uncomfortable, but, would, but at least we have the basics. We know the one, two, threes. We know a little bit about conjugation. We know a little bit about how to form sentences and how to look for certain things. It's the same with the wiring and re-regulating and restoring regulation back to the nervous system. We start with the basics. We get a little more complex, we practice in a safe environment, but then we have to take those basic ABCs and one, two, threes out into the real world, out where we are challenged with what we can't predict, right? Our, our ability to speak a second language later in life will not improve if we're only learning it via an, an app on our phone or via textbook or for, by just reading to ourselves. We have to be thrown off by someone who has a slightly different accent with that language or someone who asks us a question that we never studied in our book. And then of course, when that interaction occurs, it is our job to stay present, stay relatively within our body, calm. And if we don't know how to answer, maybe that's where we say, you know what, I'm not sure how to do that. Can you help me? To parallel that to our nervous system, if we go out into the public and we're given a stressful response, maybe in those moments we have to say to someone, you know what, can you just give me a minute? I just need to sort of reconnect and feel and just tune into this. Hopefully the person that you interact with, they have the capacity to let you do that. Maybe they don't. It's something that is on a case by case basis. In the future, so when we think of, again, having a second language be fluent or having nervous system regulation being fluent, if we think of the language, having full ability to speak a language, you know, no troubles means being plopped into that country and not having to say, excuse me, I gotta, I gotta feel that, I'm not sure, let me think about it, give me a second. It just means you're there. You're just going with the flow. You're making conversation. Maybe you make a mistake and like, ah, not that this, and you, you laugh about it. And it's just this nice flowing dialogue. In terms of nervous system regulation and restoring that back to your system, it's the same thing. So if we're in a stressful situation, having solid nervous system regulation on board means you have a stress come in and you actually don't think about how you need to resource yourself or stay connected to bring that stress response down. You actually just do it automatically on autopilot. Your autonomic nervous system is tuned to go with all of these stressors and you have what's called a, a real window of tolerance where you're not having to defend or shut down. You're just going with it and yes, you're going to have a little bit of activation and then you're going to deactivate back to baseline. So this has been the way of describing to you how learning a language is similar, if not identical, to relearning and rewiring and restoring regulation back to a nervous system that never got it in the first place. It takes going through those one, two, threes, ABCs, practicing in the comfort and safety of your own home, doing the theory, doing the study, doing the practice, but then doing little bits of going out and exposing yourself to the real world and feeling how your system responds. Maybe you need to take breaks. Maybe you need to pause. Maybe you need to communicate that with someone. Maybe you have to pull out your pocketbook and look up a word. But eventually what we want is this fluency. We want to have this immediacy, this automatic nature so that we're not having to think about all of the ways that we conjugate and find sentence structure, etc. 
I hope this video and this explanation has been useful. Of course, I use this all the time with my students when I'm doing Q and A's in various other social media platforms. Think about this for your own system. Maybe ask, the self, ask yourself the question, where am I on this um, spectrum of learning this language of nervous system health? Perhaps you are at the very beginning and that's fine. I've met people who have never had nervous system regulation as their primary language. They had to learn this as adults and when they practice, when they apply, when they get out into the real world, it becomes fluent and it does become second nature. Thanks so much for being here and we will see you next time. Thank you.